Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to ask you, the community, to tell me which dark hero I should level up next. Now one of the things that is a pet peeve of mine is when players are always asking, which hero should I level? And the reason that's a pet peeve for me is it's such a personal choice, right? Like it depends on the rest of the roster, your play style, do you need a hero for defense, for offense, for events, for titans? Like there's a million questions that go into answering which hero do I level next? So why am I asking the community which hero should I level next? Because I'm at a point in the game where I don't really have a specific need. Uh, I have event teams sorted out, I have titan teams sorted out, I have offense figured out, defense figured out. Like I don't particularly need any one hero. So I'm looking for something niche or something uh, that's been overlooked or something that everybody's just wildly passionate about. So how is this gonna work? I'm gonna level the five star hero that gets the best comment below. So tell me which hero to max and why and if I pin your comment as the best answer, that's the hero I'm going with. So I'm going to go through some options here. Uh, and I, I've just been flooded with dark heroes lately. And this is kind of where I'm struggling. So I'm going to go through some options. And you guys tell me what you think. All right. So first option here is Grimble. I have never maxed Grimble. Uh, and there are so many times I've wanted to use him, like in the Undead Wars, uh, the Undead Minion Wars. Uh, he's a phenomenal hero and super useful. Uh, I've just bypassed Grimble a million times. So Grimble's an option. Likewise, Hell, <laughs> you know, uh, another hero of the month that I just never got around to maxing. I pulled Hell way late, and then that's right when I started getting flooded with other dark heroes that bypassed her. So Hell is just a crucial hero, hitting three, screwing up mana for everybody, and it just fantastic hero. Barra. <laughs> Anybody who's been following this channel knows that I have not had Barra forever. It was the only season three hero I was missing. Uh, and for whatever reason, last month she just popped out twice. So I do got copies, two copies of her, and Barra is Barra. You know, she's not necessarily the, the tank of choice anymore, but she certainly has a place in the Undead Wars, both on offense and defense, and she's still a killer hero. I'm very tempted to go with Barra, but we have options. Gosek, uh, not particularly excited about this slow hero other than for Fast Wars, but what I am excited about is I have three other five stars from the Gargoyles maxed already. So I could make a Gargoyle defense team pretty well. I'm just missing one of the dark heroes. So Gosek gets a little bit of a notch for... Um, potentially adding him into the team. Now we are running dark tank, so he'd probably be on tank duty or he'd have to be in the corner with Xenofold, Xenofold tanking and hopefully boosting his slow mana. So we got Gosek as an option. Holda, oh my goodness. If, you, if you've not struggled with a Holda fight, I don't know if you've faced her. Holda is tough on defense. Those minions are super heavy and super annoying. And they increase mana for everybody. Uh, I was on fast track to, to max her right away when I got her. And then, you know, I got a bunch of these other dark heroes that bypassed her. One of the hesitations I have with Holda is she's basically a glorified healer, right? She puts these big fat minions in front of everybody, which basically act as meat shields and protect the heroes. So it's sort of like cheater healing, which is super helpful when we have... The, uh, the uh, no healing no resurrection events so there is definitely a place for her in those so she's an option i mean she is definitely an option she has a place on the negative side for her i have so many dark he healers right now i really do not need another healer of dark but again the fact that she works when healing is not necessarily allowed she could be an option kepri uh don't really have much to say about this hero. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these Scarab Bond Fiends, Bomb Fiends, any of the Bomb Fiends that are out there. They just, you know, we have enough heroes now that can remove Fiends and other things that we can do to get around those. So that, 
I'm not a big damage over time or attack over time person. Um, and I have been very fortunate to have gotten uh, several copies of why is their name escaping me? Kanchu. And that was tough. So I've already maxed two copies of Kanchu from the same family there. Um, and again, I just, I don't know that I would need a dark attacker. If you've seen my dark team, it's a killer six tile team. Like they're just ferocious. So I don't necessarily need somebody for attack. <clears throat> I'm not sure I would be putting them on defense. I'm just not sure where I'd put Kepri. Labu is sort of in the same boat. Uh, slow hero, you know, maybe with rush very fast, but we have so many other very fast rush heroes to look at. All right, let me give you a few more options, and then I'm going to be looking forward to seeing your comments. Again, whoever gives the best comment and the best reason, the best thing, you make me laugh, smile, or give me a good strategy, give me what you got. Whoever gets the best comment, uh, I'm going to roll with that. So let me give you a last few options here. All right, now looking at some duplicate options, I already have two maxed Al Freaks, but we could go for a third Al Freak. This would be a second Guardian Panther with costume. So I only have one maxed right now. You know, Xenofold, Exnofold, uh, I have four of them maxed, one at 20 emblems and three at seven emblems, so I don't really need a fifth, but I use them on every war team. Well, four out of six war teams, so having another one, you know, wouldn't be so bad. I also have the option for a second Cage Barado with costume or a third Khonshu. I've been loving both of them. They're very fast and they've been part of my killer six tile team. So if I start maxing them, I could actually build a second six tile team, you know, and other options for dark. I'm not going to go through them all. I mean, there's just a ton, but I have most other dark heroes currently available. So I am open to suggestions, even if I didn't specifically point them out. You know, Boss Wolf might be an interesting option for very fast. I forgot to mention Boss Wolf. Uh, Dark Lord, not a big fan of. Mysterio has some interesting fun play. Mokar, I'm anticipating that he's going to get a big buff sooner or later. So I don't know. You tell me. Give me a comment below. Let's see what your thinking is.